Hey guys, welcome to Malamations. So this video is going to be a little different this time because um, it's a toy review. And yes, I know what you're guys thinking, oh, that's weird. During a toy review, well, one, I think this one's worth it. And also, the other thing is that this is also something brand new, recent, and it's for like a movie that's coming out in the future. And it's a Lego set, in fact. Which is a little fun about me. I definitely like Legos. Well, Lego, because Legos is not a word, apparently. But this is one of my big and many hobbies that I will say has taken a toll, I would say. So, so much a toll, in fact, that my bedroom looks just like the basement from the Lego movie 1 and 2. Which, granted, my parents. Well, they think it's cool. My mom thinks it's a muse it's like a museum in there with a bunch of Lego sets throughout of my childhood and years. And my dad also thinks it's cool too. And him and I kinda of made a thing where we go off, off to a store, buy a Lego set, and build it them together. We tried master building too, but the bit is too big that'll take up a whole table. So we had to sit on the floor. And sit on the floor doesn't feel comfortable for him, which is understandable for his age. <laughs> my apologies, father. <laughs> um, wow, this rusted right down the channel. Can't believe it. So anyways, without further ado, here is this Lego set that I will show you. All right, so this is the Lego set I got and I got to do a toy review for you guys. So this is Jedi Bob Starfighter and it comes with 305 pieces. And it comes with Jedi Bob, Akbar Trooper and Servo, uh, who is a donk droid. And I like how unique the set is, even the background looks nice. And this is for a new movie, or well, I hope we a movie, called Rebuild the Galaxy of Star Wars, which I am excited, and that's coming out next month. So yes, so here's the set, and Queen Elizabeth, well, this is the Queen, and her fellow knights. So anyways, so here's the set. Which I just realized matches with my table right now at the moment and some other stuff. <laughs> so let's show you the minifigures. Um, right here we have is Jedi Bob. And I think it's funny his name is just Bob. Like that's not a Star Wars name if you ask me. But anyways, it's cool. So he comes with a fabric cape, lightsaber, and two faces, which let me move. He has his smiling face and a serious look face. And the cool thing I like about this mini figure is that it actually goes with the classic um, Star Wars. Oh. Uh, Star Wars when it first came out when they didn't have like skin color. They just go with yellow. Also, I like how they made him look worn down kind of like Emmett from the Lego movie too. Like he's been worn down. He's not been changed yet. So that's cool. And we have the Akbar Trooper, which I think this is straight out funny. Like there's something unique about this trooper. I'll say besides them giving uh, General Akbar a head and it looks so, <laughs> I don't know, funny. Like it looks like Sabi a kid would just like, you know, I want to use this headpiece for a clone trooper. And first, I thought it was a stormtrooper, and I thought it would be funny in the movie. He'll be like, it's an ambush, instead of, it's a trap. <laughs> so, yeah. And right here we have Servo, which is a bill figure out of pieces. And he has buttons, for some reason. And uh, eyeball, and whatever this is supposed to be, probably like a connection tube. But he's a gonk droid. And he's actually not bad for a gonk droid, to be honest. Like, other ones are just basic, like, Black square with some stickers, but they did a good job to add some characteristics to this uh, type of drawer. Now to the main course, the Starfighter. The cool thing is I have a few Starfighters already. I have Anakin's and Owen Kenobi Starfighter, but this one is uh, different. Which of course, I believe it's wider than the other one. And also there's pointer. And of course, different pattern and color scheme from the other two I have. The cool thing is, 
Uh, only other ones, it has three, uh, well, tell you five engines, as you see from the bottom. And, um, also have these two big engines, like that modded Anakin Skywalker Starship, which I think is cool. Also have these two, which I think that just makes it cool, like all Shadow Starfighters should just have this. And also it has giant cannons instead of just stud shooters that are usually like on the wing right here. But it's just actually like cannons, which is cool. And there's also a little storage compartment, which comes with a banana and a blue bantha milk, I believe. Or I should just say blue milk. We're telling you this is the area where um, the astrobeck droid like R2 stays. But no, it's like a storage compartment for a banana. But me personally, I think it would have been a little cool if it was like a spot for servo. Like he just sits right there. So yeah. And right here we have this cockpit, which just flips up like that. And there's not really much in there. As you see, because it's Lego. There's like a little control panel right here. Uh, two sets for me if you to sit, and also the little headrest, which I thought was interesting. But let's put, really, um, Jedi Baba, who doesn't want to keep his hoodie on for some reason. Hmm. So let's see. He goes in like that and closes. There we go. And also there's a little thing about this. There's also clips on the side, which... That's where you store the lightsaber at. And also there's a kickstand, which I don't use because this is tall enough for this back end right here. So it just looks fine being like this. And do I recommend this set? Yes. I think it's fun to build. Also, I like how they use uh, ice skate pieces for like the fin engines right there which I think it's cool. And also, um, I do recommend this and I can't wait to watch the movie because it's kind of like a Star Wars what if. If you guys catch me on like multiverse thing, but with Star Wars, so it's like everything twisted and it's Lego and it's and the graphics are like Lego movie graphics, which that makes me so excited because uh, ever since watching the first Lego movie, I thought it would be cool if they made a Lego Star Wars movie. And this is perfect. So, yeah. Stay tuned. So, this was a fun video to make. Um, yes, Lego is one of my hobbies, I would say. And I think it would be cool in the future if there's be, like, one of the Lego animators. Well, not Lego animators, but be, like, one of the YouTube animators that do little Lego toy reviews like this. Which, if you like more, uh, please hit like and subscribe and share with your friends. I do like this set and I'm excited for the Lego movie of Rebuild the Galaxy coming out to Disney Plus next month in September 13th, I believe, or was it 14th? Oh, well, you guys know when it will come out. Bye.